Penn State has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Sends it sailing downfield. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Go! They'll give it off here. They'll bring him down at the 22. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Third and about 13 yards. Ball on the 22. They get the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. And that'll be three and out. Your instinct as a return man is always to try to squeeze out more yards. But you've got to know when to protect the ball and when to get down. Nice run there. That makes it second and six. From the 38-yard line, second down. Catches it, and that's all. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. That'll bring up third and two. And he's taken down at about the 35. Defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense if he's releasing a safety to stop the run. It's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. They'll take it inside, but the defense is ready. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for them. From the 31-yard line, second down. Mike Wood, Mike Wood. Go. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. and they need to get it to the 21. Dog four! Go! Got a man tackled for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Penn State could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
And they can forget about returning this one. The Nittany Lions are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Nice run up the middle. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. to go. Ball on the 40. And he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. There really is nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. They come out in a five-wide set. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Hey, Mike 40, Mike 40. Black pass. Black five. Steps up and goes down. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They're ready to begin another drive. Penn State has a three-point lead. Just throws this one away. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Three down, three down. Key 15, key 15. Green nine, green nine. He scrambled. He's taken down at the 21. It to the tight end. Brought down right around the 26-yard line. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. So at the end of one, the Nittany Lions in front, 3-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. He's tackled the 39-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Run up the middle. That makes it second and six. From their own 43 yard line. Second down. Red two. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Black 
it up the middle for a nice run. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And a huge touchdown play. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the three. Tackle at the 32. Brad, everywhere we go and we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol. Hurry up, tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. When it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled at the 34. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. first down. Well, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Penn State staff right now, I would think, going into halftime, Kirk's got to be happy. I mean, here's their guy not having the kind of game he's used to having. But if they can get in the lead, I think they'd go right back to it. And to think that this team at this point has the lead, and, and considering the way their superstar has played, they've got to feel pretty good heading into halftime, knowing that it's a matter of time until their, their bell cow starts to really start to hit on all cylinders. And I wouldn't be shocked at all. You know, even though they have the lead, he hasn't played well. You go into the second half, you still got to try to get him his touches and his carries and hope that eventually he catches fire. And who knows what this offense is really capable of doing today. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Makes it out to about the 20. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That brings us third and ten. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Well, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Three down, three down. Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Hey, no, no. It's just Mike right here. Let's go! Black to the eight. Black to the eight. Oh, oh. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. With the pass incomplete. Black five. They run it for 
the first, and he stops. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Mike one, Mike one. Black five, black five. He's going to try and scramble. Looking for the corner. He's out to the 30. And down he goes. Right around the 38-yard line. Big yardage there on the quarterback run. He dropped back to throw the ball and saw that no one was open. He just took off. First and 10. Ball on their own 38. Red two, X seven, go! He's scrambling, and he's gonna be sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. He lets it fly. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. He's tackled right around the six-yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five. Makes it first and goal. Out of bounds around the four-yard line. A couple of yards there. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. Defense stacked in tight here. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. Strike to the receiver, touchdown. He makes the PAT. A nice seven play, 84 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. The score now 17 0. He gets out to about the 18 yard line. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yellow, three. Watch the slam. Yellow, Let's go. Slam. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. Red two, green 15. Go. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. We've still got a half of football remaining. Penn State's lead is 17. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. <laughs> Tackle made at the 20-yard line.
So they're just about set to get the game going again. Gives it to the back. And they make the stop at the 23. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. complete he's got space to work and he's taken down at about the 41. that makes it first and ten it's first down and ten now after picking up some great yardage through the air Fires this one. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. Brad, not only a huge interception to get the football back and maybe have a chance to get back into this game, but this could really change momentum. You can see the players and how they're responding down there on the sideline about how excited they are to get the football back and have a chance to put points on the board. Ball is loose. Fumble. Defense has it. It's the linebacker. Touchdown, Penn State. Great play here by the defender. You know, it's trickier than it looks to scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started. Able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Minnesota's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down and they're forced to punt. Uh, or, or drive uh, ends up uh, stalling in a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in a game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some plays. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. He lets it go. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. A lot of fast receivers can be one-dimensional, but he's been working with his coaches to become more confident as a route runner. His progression has been very impressive. They come out in an empty backfield. Throw. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Mike 40, Mike 40. Tackle made at the 39. That's a loss of three yards. That'll bring, bring up third and four. four. Larry, Larry. Let's eat it up. Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Hey, no, no. Let's switch the mic right here. Mike. Mike. There's a bullet over the middle. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. From the 30-yard line, first down. Kill, kill, kill! Three. He's on the run. Tackle, the 25-yard line. Good 
coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. From the 25-yard line, second down. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Push out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their cycles. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. Somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and goal. Tenth play of the drive. Red two, not green nine. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. No gain. That, that makes, makes it third and goal. goal. It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. for the touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. Minnesota yet set to kick this one away. Taken from the three yard line. And he's taken down at the 30 yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. So after the mishap, we've got first down going the other way. Often you'll see this from a playmaker. He tried to do a little bit extra and ended up losing the ball. It's a nice play by the defense to recover that ball. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. Nice run there. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. That makes it second and six. From the 28-yard line, second down. He scrambled, and they got him. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. But it's incomplete. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalked up three points for the offense. So our score, Penn State 24, Minnesota 11. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Tackled at the 20. 
So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he tackles him hard at the 13. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. Penn State's got a 13-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Going deep. The 50. And he holds it in. Brought down at the 43. That's a good thing to bring to yards. First down. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. Four down, four down. Mike one, Mike one. Red two, X seven. Motion. Here we go, check in motion. Check the call, check the call. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Catches it, but he steps out. He would have been better off letting that one go. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh. Red two. Orange three. Orange three. Go. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. He chucks it downfield. For a big play like that can really spark this team. Look at the sideline. They're fired up, and if they score here, it could put them in a position to maybe tie this game up. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Passes to the left, and it's going the other way. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 36. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Just under three to go in regulation. Dog four. Green eight. Go. Up the middle for a nice game. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Black five, black five. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Get 
gets hit out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. The Golden Gophers are going to call their second timeout. Makes it out to about the 33. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's leveled at the 27 yard line. Third down. Third down again. We have less than a minute to go. should do it. Our final tally in this one. Penn State, 24. Minnesota, 11. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Penn State comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. Joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.